Coming up on today's episode of Technoid, Apple is ditching Qualcomm's antenna design because they claim it does not meet their design whatever. It looks like the OnePlus 8 leaks are suggesting it will have a little disappointing uh, surprise, but we'll discuss that in a sec. And lastly, RCS is taking another step forward with more implemented features, making it one step closer to Google Duo, whatever they want it to do, basically versing iMessage, all that and more coming up on today's episode, so stay tuned. <laughs> What's up everybody, Michael here, welcome back to Technoid. Now guys, before we start this video, I just wanna say Twitter, if you're watching this, fuck you man, just fuck you. Literally, Twitter locked and is possibly removing my account because they don't believe that I am 13. And because, okay fine, I was 12 years old back in like eight years ago when I created my Twitter. But still, I am 20 years old and you're gonna suspend my account because you think I'm not 13 and older? What? So instead, I've decided to make a new Twitter for the YouTube channel, official. It'll be the official Twitter for the YouTube channel. It is just simply called Technoid. I will leave the link in the description and you can find it on the channel page. When you click on my channel, it will be up there along with my other social medias that I'll be working on. All that coming later on. But also Twitter, why are you doing this to me now? Just, just tell me why. Well, with that out of the way, let's get this story going. So story number one, let's start it up with Apple. Now, as you guys know, Apple is one of the weirdest companies when it comes to designing and also when it comes to working with people. And last year, they signed an agreement with Qualcomm to use Qualcomm chips modems for 5G and also including their antenna system. Well, apparently, Apple is ditching their antennas in favor of making their own 5G antennas. Reason? Because it didn't meet Apple's standards of design. You know what? I could make a rant, I could just not look at this, but you know what, I'm gonna look at this from two ways. On the one hand, it makes sense for Apple, since they're all about the design, and also because Apple is working on 5G chips, it would make sense for them to make their own antenna bands along with their 5G chips in the future. That would be cool. But on the flip side, Apple, you signed an agreement with Qualcomm to use their technology in your phones. Now you wanna say, oh, well, it doesn't really look that good, so we're not gonna do it, I can understand the argument, but set, like Apple, this doesn't make any sense. It's not like your phones are any prettier than they are. They honestly don't look that pretty. You look at it at the front, you see an ugly notch. You look at the borders, okay, stainless steel is fine, but you see antennas all over the thing. What, how could, what possibly could it look like that it's so terrible? And if you make your own 5G antennas, what are the chances it's gonna work any good with their modems? Look at what you did with Intel. Yeah, you bought them out, but Look at what happened with your Intel chips. They sucked compared to the Qualcomm. And now you want to make your own antennas before your own chips? I would rather just use their technology now. Even if it doesn't look, you're good at remapping things. You're making, for crying out loud, you're making a iPhone 4S 5 style phone and you're telling the antennas are going to mess that up? Like, am I missing something here? You know what? I don't care. I don't care. Whatever Apple does, they do. But that's story number one. Story number two, let's move over now to OnePlus. Now, as you know, the OnePlus 8 Pro is in the works and it is in its early development and soon we'll have more and more information coming out. But recently, a leaked uh, Geekbench score has shown that it will have the Snapdragon 865, but it will have eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, on the surface, this isn't bad. This is not something that everyone's gonna blow up. This isn't a terrible thing. But compared to something like the S20 and the S20 Ultra, the RAM does kind of make a big difference. And considering that OnePlus has their philosophy with making good stuff for like half the price, I kind of understand their power aspect because they're all about the power. You have 120 hertz display. Eight gig of RAM, in my opinion, is not bad. I think it's fine. But look at my Note 10 Plus, I have 12 gigs in that thing. That's almost as compared to a computer. But it's not the end of the world. I don't really think it's a big deal, but it would have been cool if they had made it 10 gigs of RAM because Android operating systems, they need more RAM to support because you know, optimization and et cetera. But that's the OnePlus 8 Pro and hopefully we'll have more information coming as the stories develop. And last story up of the day, last one, let's talk Google RCS. So as you know, RCS is still rolling out. It will be making its worldwide rollout possibly in the coming month or next month. 
and now Google is working with beta to now have emoji reactions like iMessage, how you have the thumbs up, thumbs down. In beta, it looks like they are working on something similar to what Facebook kind of did, but it works with RCS. So this is a good step forward to iMessage competitor because on the one hand, RCS still needs to have end-to-end -end encryption like Google Duo, but on the other hand, by working the bugs out and getting this thing really to what it should be, I think it'll just make the transition smoother, although I really would wish Samsung would adopt this thing by now. I don't understand why they decided to adopt Duo, but not RCS, doesn't matter. I think that this is a good step for RCS, and I hope that the end-to-end -end encryption comes in sooner than later. And that is it for today's episode of Tech Night. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and again, I hope everybody had an absolutely happy Valentine's Day. I did, until, uh, until, until last night, but, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys do take care of yourselves. That's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below about Apple ditching the antennas and all the other stuff I've discussed. And as always, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Yeah.